Evening Feast, Makati Salcedo. You know, it's a beautiful night to be here. I know that it's pouring outside, but I'm so glad that you still found the time and the effort to make it here today. So can you turn to the person beside you and just say, I'm happy you're here. So tonight we're going to start with something a little different, something we don't usually do. I'm just going to do a little bit of a heart check here. I'm going to ask a question. If the question applies to you, all you have to do is raise your hand, okay? Yeah? Okay, so how many of you here came tonight with a little bit of a burden on their shoulders? With a little bit of carrying something on their shoulders? A little weight? Okay. How many of you here came tonight with much to be grateful for, much to celebrate? Praise God for that. And how many of you are here tonight? I don't know why, I've just found myself here, but I'm here. Anybody here? Okay, praise God that you're here anyway. Well, you know what, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter what state of your life you're in right now. Because what I know for sure is that it was a good idea and a good decision that you're here tonight. Amen? Because tonight, God is going to reveal something to you. God has a message for you. God has a plan for you tonight. He's going to speak to you tonight. Because at this very moment, God is already paving the way for miracles to happen in your life, for promises to be fulfilled, for prayers to be answered. And all you have to do is just open your arms, be in a position of readiness, in a position of openness, in a position of trust and surrender, and say, hey God, I'm here. I am ready. Whether it's in my plans or whether it's in your plans, I am ready for you, Jesus. And so we worship it tonight, brothers and sisters, and we come together in faith as we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Put your hands up, come on.
spoke to Elijah in that whisper. Brothers and sisters, there's always that misconception that God is found only in the grand things, the big things and the lavish things, in fanfare. And we keep looking for our burning bush moments, our own personal burning bush moments where God will grandly reveal himself. And we keep asking for signs. And when there are no signs, we ask if the lack of a sign is a sign that there is no sign or a sign. And it's just confusing and it's noisy. We're so fixated on the how and the when we will encounter God that we forget that God is the great I am. Which means that He is the God not of our past, not just of our future, the God of our every moment. I am right here, right now. He is the God of our everyday, the seemingly mundane, ordinary things. He is when, there when you wake up, when you encounter people. If you don't even believe it, He's there in your workplace. He's there in your projects. He's there in the food that you eat. He's there in every single moment of your life. I am. And the world can sometimes get messy and loud and noisy. But when things confuse us, when we feel so burnt out, when we feel so overwhelmed by everything, all we have to do is do the most ordinary thing, which is to take a breath. When we take a breath, we remember that the very breath that lives in us is the breath of God and that He is not far from us. And so tonight, brothers and sisters, I invite you, I invite all of us to take a moment, to take a breath, something we might normally get to do, we might not normally get to do on a daily basis, something maybe we run away from because we're afraid of what we will find out in the silence. But I'm telling you now, God will speak to you. God has something to say to you. So brothers and sisters, I invite you to put your hand over your heart, just like this, and to close your eyes, and to just give God this moment.
our hearts and touching our lives we know that we we will leave this place forever changed father and father just as we know that you are in our every moment that you are in our every day we praise you father we give you gratitude lord we give our lives to you just as you gave our lives to us lord just as how every part of your creation seems to worship you, so will we, Father. Just 
is how the wind blows and the sun rises and the sun sets and the stars shine in the night sky. Father, we pray that the beauty of all your creation, Lord, will always seek to give you back the life that you gave for us, Father. So we lift our hands up tonight. Come on, peace. Let's lift our hands up tonight and worship God. Over and over, we will sing over and over. We will never stop. We will keep praising you, Father. Even if we get tired, we will keep praising you, Lord. Over and over, Lord. So alive. Infinite times. Billions. mountains will pray, so will I. If the water will pray, so will I. 
It doesn't matter what I feel right now. It doesn't matter what load I'm carrying right now. But you can make a choice tonight, dear brothers and sisters. You always have a choice. Can you convince the person beside you? Pakisabi, you always have a choice. In, in, the, in the face of struggle, in the face of problem, mas lalo na ako, nako, mas lalo na akong ang daming problemong sunod-sunod. May kilala kayong ganoon? Pakitignan nga ang katabi, mukhang siya ba yun? Yung hindi pa tapos isang problema, may problema na naman, may problema pa rin. Tapos sa lahat ng problema na yun, may parang foundation na lahat na nangyari. Ang daming problema! Pero tignan mo, nakatayo ka pa rin. Tumalaban pa rin. Amen. Kung ano man ang problema ng katabi mo, can you just be the preacher to the person beside you? Pakisabi sa kanya, kayang-kaya mo yan. Kayang-kaya mo yan. Can I invite you just to open your palms to Jesus right now, dear brothers? Oh, just in, this is just an invitation. Father in heaven, we lift up to you every burden in our hearts. I lift up to you every load I'm carrying. So Father, I make a choice tonight. If the stars will worship, so will I. If the mountains will worship, so will I. If the angels bow down before you, my King and my God, so will I. So Father, as I worship you tonight, I honor you with my whole body, with my whole mind, heart, and spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I know that solution is on the way, that grace is on the way, provision is on the way, grace is on the way, Health is on the way. Healing is on the way. Love is doing itself right now because you are here in this place. So Father, make a decision tonight to worship you with all of my heart. Look at me, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship you again. We worship you over and over again. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, everybody. Today, open myself, the unbounded, 
limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Let's honor God's word, everyone. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Before I start, can we give a big hand to everybody first for being here? Thank you so much for coming out. We want to welcome those who've come for the first time. Pwede ba natin silang palakpakan din wherever they are. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpunta ninyo. Alam ko matagal na matagal na kayong kinukulit ng uh, kaibigan ninyo. Pero sana nakakain kayo ng taho. At uh, yun lang. Yun lang kaya namin ma-offer. At uh, sana mga cookies. Mamaya marami pa. Pero I really hope that you're enjoying your stay. Oh, marami pa. Marami nag-react doon ako. Oh, marami pa. Wala yun na yun, okay? Sa mga first time <laughs> lang. We want to thank you. I want to welcome also those who've been, you know, absent for quite some time. Pero biglang umaten tonight. Palakpak na naman natin sila. One last na kailangan natin acknowledge ang ating mga nakikinig online or Feast Online family. Can we give them a big, big hand? Thank you so much. My name is uh, Jan, and I'm the one building the feast in this, in this side of Makati. And I want to thank you, really, for being here. We are in the third talk of our series, Burn. Can everybody say burn? Yeah, and for the entire... Sino pala na complete attendance so far sa series na ito? Since talk one. Wow, palakpakan nyo naman yung mga yan. Talagang... <laughs> Para sa akin itong series na to bro. Talagang burn out to burn out ako eh. For those who've come for the first time, we've been talking about for the last three weeks, the number one source, the killer source of today. Nung bakit namamatay yung maraming tao. Anong alit? It's what? Ah, iba, tama, iba, mali pa rin. Hindi po stress, okay? It's too much stress. Masyadong maraming stress. At pag mara- masyadong maraming stress sa pinagdadaanan ako, it leads to burnout. That's why talk number one, the number one stress, the first root cause of burnout is this, that we expect from stuff what only God can provide. Kaya we were offering our burdens to the Lord, talk number one. Kasi hindi po kaya ng tao at hindi po kaya ng bagay i-fill in yung hole sa puso mo. Bakit? Kasi si Lord lang ang kasya dyan eh. Si Lord lang dapat ang pumupuno. Dyan. If nandun si Lord, everything will follow. Talk number two was last week. Nag-enjoy ako sa talk na yun. Kasi we were trying to let go of what? Control. We want to let go of control. That's the second root cause of burnout. Ano yun? We want to control what we cannot control. Control ka ng control ang tao. Hindi nga siya magbabago. Pero ikaw yung nagbabago. Last week, I've emphasized talaga namang pinuno, pinukpok ko sa ating lahat na we don't always have the power to control. But you will always have the power to surrender. Pakitignan ng mga katabi, nakalit ko na ba? Diba? May kilala ko yung bagong breakup. Yung hirap na hirap makalit go. Talaga naman. Yung iba nga na feeling breakup lang eh. Pero hindi naman naging kayot eh. So anyway, top number three is this harsh ba? Sorry, harsh ba masyado? Labo kasi Break kami. Oh, kayo ba? Hindi naman eh. Diba? Top number three. Tonight we'll talk about burn up. Everybody say burn up. Why? Because you, you can either burn out or burn up. Fire is important. Pakisabi nga fire. The fire in you. Fire can either be a mother or a monster. Dalawa lang yan. Why? If it's con- uncontrolled, ang apoy, pag hindi kinontrol, ay naku, nakakasunog. 
Pero ang, ang fire if control, kunyari nagluluto ka, control lang. First time ko sa Baguio many years ago, may chimney. Nakita ko sa chimney, sabi ko, ma, pwede ba tayo mag-chimney sa Makati rin? Hindi <laughs> pala pwede yun kasi sobrang controlled lang. Ang light, ang, ang, ang kandila, controlled lang din dapat. But if it's controlled, it's a mother that can, can, can give birth gives birth to a lot of things. That's why you have a choice. You have to ask yourself, who is in charge? We all have fire in us. Pero sino bang in charge? Kasi kung ang fire ang in charge, ay nako po, if wala kang control sa init ng ulo mo, ay nako, ano nangyayari? Nag-aaway, ang dami. Why? Bakit? Ay, fire. Hindi, mali. But if it's you, if you're controlling it, ay nako. Alam mo yung control, fire in us, it's called passion. Pakisabi nga, passion. Pakitignan ng katabi, mukhang may passion ba sa buhay? Di ba? Anong meaning ng passion? It's a strong feeling or emotion. Now, listen. Question, sino nagmahal na? Taas na kamay. Sino nga nagmahal na? Grabe ka, ang daming kawawa, mga hindi pa nagmamahal, no? Kaya naman pala, harang, ano yan? Hindi ko alam yan. Magtatanong ako ulit, sino mga nagmahal na? Taas na kamay. Diba? Yung hindi pa nagmamahal, kawawa naman talaga, no? Ang magmahal, masarap, yes? yes. Pero masakit din, yes? yes. Mas, mas, malakas yung, mas malakas yung masakit, ha? Ay, pag nagmamahal ka, masakit at masarap yan, anong pinagkakaiba? Ay, nako, may kilala kayong sobrang magmahal. Yung talaga ibibigay lahat. Talaga naman, gilang, ano pa? Ref, gusto mo ref, gilang. Aircon, ano pa? Aircon, ano pa kailangan mo? <laughs> Tumahimik ka, Drew. Naririnig kita. <laughs> Di ba yun talaga? Ano ba gusto mo sa buhay? Cellphone. <laughs> lahat. Ay, nako, katos ka, alam mo may mutual, ala, alam mo yung MU, mutual understanding. Kasi para sa'yo, para may mutual understanding kami. Yun ang MU para sa'yo. Pero hindi pala, ang MU ay mag-isang umibig. That's why you are hurting. Siguro duhay mo muna kung tama tong taong minamahal mo. Kasi bigay ka ng bigay, ikaw lang nagbibigay siya pala. FYI lang, okay? Pakisabi sa katabi, huwag kang ganon. <laughs> Yung iba, pwede na umuwi. Ito yung message para sa kanya. Oh. <laughs> okay na, brother John. L.O. na tayo. Tara na. Di ba? Sa trabaho, may kilala kayong ganon? Trabaho ng trabaho, trabaho ng trabaho. Priority, trabaho, karir. Wala tas wala akong love life, brother John eh. Puro trabaho. Walang control. Nakakasakit. Hindi lang ng, ng, ng sariling health. Pero tignan mo, nakakasakit ka na rin ng tao. Proverbs 16, bring this home. Better is a patient person than a warrior. One with self-control. That one who takes a city. Go for passion. Go. Be passionate in loving. Be passionate at work. Pero may gusto kong isama ninyo, ha? Pag passionate kayo, kailangan prudent din kayo. There's prudence involved. Alam, anong prudence? You know when to stop. You, you judge. It's a skill. Now you have to stop. You have to know this is too much already. I have to wait. Half break muna. Hindi full break sa car. Ang full break sa kotse, masakit. Pero half break, wait lang. May pupuntahan ba to o wala? Wait lang. Dito ko ba nakikita ang sarili ko five years from now? Ten years, wait lang. Ito ba ang pamilyang gusto ko para sa mga anak ko? Wait lang. 
Hindi brother John, baka wala nang ibang maligaw. Taka, wait lang. Relationships, yes, you can have passion. Love each other. But have prudence. Huwag binibigay ang lahat. Amen? Kasi pag nauubusan ka, ganun binigay ko lahat. Sino ba nagsabi, bigay lahat? Unang-una, hindi sa'yo yan. Nax! Ah, ganun pa. Siguraduhin mo muna. Lord, siya ba talaga? Sa trabaho, ganun din. Be passionate. Pero kung uwi na, uwi na. Yung iba, hindi. Walang gagawa nito. Wait lang. Have passion. and prudence. Put your hands over. Father in heaven, I lift up the every person who's burned out here in every area of their life. Yes, teach us to be passionate, but teach us to be prudent as well. I lift up the every concern I have. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Can we give the Lord a big hand, everybody? Amen. All right, please be seated. Tell somebody beside you, mag enjoy ka tonight. Nax. Alam nyo bakit nag ako nag enjoy I just, I just want to honor really every servant na meron tayo. Can we give a big hand to all servants from the ushers? from the broad intercessory worship. Every time po nag-worship tayo, talaga ako in o na in o. We have the best of the best talents here at our feast. At, uh, say, thank you so much for being here every day and every day, or every Tuesday and every Wednesday. Again, I want to welcome everybody. Welcome to the feast. And uh, again, ang, natutuwa ako kasi last week, ang dami nag-stories, ang daming hindi nakinig sa talk, nag-stories lang na nag-stories. Ah, katuwa kayo. So again, if may stories kayo, pakitag itong dalawang to. Every week ko na po i-announce yan. Parang kakatuwa kasi mag, mag-repost ng mga sharing ninyo, ng mga stories ninyo. Minsan, mag quote nyo pa ako. Parang sabi ko, di ko yata sinabi yan ha. Marami pong ganun. Tapos dash brother dyan, hindi ko sinabi yan. Pero ganun talaga eh. Iba sinabi ko, iba yung narinig mo. Okay din yun. Kasi yung naririnig mo yung kailangan mo. Amen? Boy, amen? amen? Now, we'll talk about the third root cause of burnout. The next week will be the last, okay? Then, ano ba ngayon? August, ay naku, ang ganda ng series natin ng August. Hihimayin natin ang The Creed. Huh? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, and for August, yan. Huh? We'll, we will be proud to follow Jesus. Yeah. So anyway, I'll tell you a story about Elijah. Pakisabi nga, Elijah. Yan. Yan si Elijah. Sino ba siya? Si Elijah, he's a premier prophet in the Old Testament. Pag sinabi mong premier prophet, pag si Elijah nagdasal kay Lord, may sagot kagad si Lord. Ito yung problema. Ito ha? Isiset up ko lang. During the time of Elijah, May mga followers si Lord, si Yahweh. Pero syempre, itong mga Israelites, may ibang mga gods na pinafollow. At yung number one god nila ay si Baal. Si Baal or Baal. Yan. So maraming followers si Baal. Maraming followers si God. Si God, the, the Jewish God. Yung totoong Diyos. Tapos parang si, si Elijah sabi niya, Teka lang. Ang dami na diyan kay Baal, hindi naman totoong Diyos yan. So sinabi niya sa mga propeta doon, oh, it's ganito, mag-showdown tayo, sabi niya. Mag-showdown tayo, hinamon niya, he proposed a test. Sabi niya, let's go up to the Mount Horeb, doon sa pinakamataas na, ma- sorry, Mount Carmel. Let's go to Mount Carmel, punta tayo doon. Tapos ito gagawin natin. Papatunayan natin sino ang totoong Diyos sa atin. Ang Diyos ko ba o ang Diyos ninyo si Baal? So akyat sila. Ito yung test nila. So gagawa sila ng altar. At kung sino ang una magsisend ng fire dun sa altar, yun ang Diyos. Grabe, no? Imagine mo yun. Kaya niyo bang ganun? Pagdasal kay Lord, apoy. Boom! May apoy. Yung ganun. 
Parang, Lord, tubig, may tubig. Lord, pagalingin mo to. Kasi ganon si Elijah, ganon siya magdasal. Yung grabe yung faith niya, na pag may hiningi siya kay Lord, sasagutin ni Lord, ganon yung faith niya. Sobrang galing itong prophet na ito. Eto na, showdown day. 150 na prophet ni, ni Baal. 450 sila. Tapos sabi nila, sige, game. Sino mauna? Jack and Poy. <laughs> Hindi, pero lang. Hindi ko alam kung nangyari yun. Anyway, sabi ni Elijah, Hindi, sige kayo muna. This, uh, this happened in the morning. Itong battle na to buong araw nangyari. So sabi ni Elijah, sige, kayo muna. So yung 450, eto na. Nagsasasayaw sila dun sa ano. Doon sa gitna ng altar, kung ano-ano pang ginagawa nila. So ito, harang Baal, come on, apoy, Baal, apoy. So si, si Elijah, tawang-tawa sa gilid. Kaya sabi niya, <laughs> sige lang. <laughs> Wala yan, di mangyayari yan. Tapos ito na, noon time na, six hours nang nagsasasayaw itong mga to. Talaga, <laughs> wala pa rin bang apoy? Wala, 450 sila, nag-iikot-ikot doon sa mountain. Walang apoy. Tapos ito pa, pag, may, pag alam mong sinasagot ka ni Lord, medyo mayabang. Si Elijah, medyo tinont pa niya. Ito ha, may taunting na po dati. At mabait si Elijah, pero may taunting na nangyari. Sabi niya ito. At noon, Elijah started making fun of them. <laughs> Imagine mo, linya pa lang yan. Parang, <laughs> na mo itong muna to. Pray louder! Sabi niya, <laughs> Hoy, magdasal pa kayo. He is a God, di ba? Na? Maybe <laughs> he is daydreaming or relieving himself. Ano sa Tagalog ang relieving himself? Nasa CR. Imagine mo, kung magtaunt, maybe he is daydreaming or relieving. Baka nasa CR. <laughs> or perhaps he's gone off a trip. Baka nagbakasyon. <laughs> Or maybe he's sleeping and you've got to wake him up. Grabe, no? Taunter talaga. Bakit? Grabe confidence niya. Now, afternoon, sabi ni Elijah, okay na kayo? Okay na? Okay na? Okay. Ito yung ginawa niya. Tinignan niya yung altar. Naghukay. He dug a hole around. Alam mo yung sunod niyang ginawa? kumuha ng tubig. Nilagyan ng tubig. At the hour of the afternoon sacrifice, the prophet Elijah, next slide, approached the altar and prayed. Ito na. Nilagyan niya ng tubig. O Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, prove now that you are the God of Israel and that I am your servant and I have done all this at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, so that this people will know that you, the Lord, are God, and that you are bringing them back to yourself. And yung susunod na nangyari? Boom! Choom! The Lord sent fire down and burned up the sacrifice. The wood, the stone, scorched the earth and dried up the water in the trench. The, when the people saw this, they threw themselves on the ground and exclaimed, The Lord is God. The Lord alone is God. Parang anime yung nangyari. Parang, ha? Me? <laughs> Hindi alam to. Anyway, <laughs> parang ganyan. Wave! Next time. Bang! Ang lupit! Ganyan si Elijah. I just wanna set up kung gano siya ka-close kay Lord. Na Lord, ito yung relasyon na meron kami ng Diyos na ito. Makinig kayo lahat. But this man, a super hero type, was depressed. He went on depression. Kasi ito yung nangyari. King Ahab told his wife Jezebel everything. King Ahab was the king na nag-worship kay Baal. Tapos sinabi niya kay Jezebel, Kaya everything that Elijah had, by the way, sa, side note, masama na po si Ahab, ha? Ang pinakasalan pa niya, mas masama. Kaya please, very important talaga kung sino yung papakasalan ninyo, ha? 
pakitingnan ng katabi, mukhang may karelasyon ba yan? Na sana ang karelasyon niya, pinapabuti sana siya. At hindi lalong pinapasama. Si Ahab, yung sama niya, medium lang. Pero si, si Jezebel, grabe, sobrang wicked queen. Tapos sabi niya, uh, all the plan prophets to Baal of the death. She sent a message to Elijah. May the God strike me dead if by this time tomorrow I don't do the same to you that you've did to the prophets. Pinatay po kasi ni Elijah yung mga 450 prophets. So nung sinabi ni Jezebel, tatak mo sa bato. Lord, kung sino man yung God niya, bukas patay ka na rin. Nung narinig ni Elijah, tingnan mo yung ginawa niya. Elijah was afraid and fled for his life. He took a servant and went to Beersheba in Judah. I have a question. Why do you think Elijah fled? So, super powerful niya, ha? super galing niya. Pero the moment that the queen may sent a message na talagang papatay, nako, if, if, he, he fled away. Ito yung feeling ko. And maraming preachers na nagsabi nito, marami ring libro at marami ring review na nagsabi, hindi naman dahil takot siya kay Jezebel. You want to know the reason why? He was burned out. Kasi, eh, bakit ganun? Hindi matapos yung problema. Ang dami kong ginawa para sa iyo, Panginoon. Tapos eto na, may fire pa rin. Ba't ito, may problema pa rin ako. Anong gagawin ko? Ayoko na. He fled the way. Have you ever felt that? Pakitignan niya ang katabi. Mukha marami ba siyang problema na dinadala? Na yung queen, it was just a trigger. Pakisabi nga trigger. Yung sunod-sunod na problema. Ay, I'm not sure. Ah. May financial problem kang hinahandel. Parang Lord, dami ko utang ngayon. Tapos sa bayaran mo, sa mamaya-maya, may problema sa pamilya mo. Ba't ganun, Lord, nakakasakit yung iba kong anak, yung iba ayaw mag-aral. Tapos mamaya-maya, may health concern ka rin. Tapos mamaya ang dami concern, may relationship concern ka din. Tapos mamaya, may dinadasal ka kay Lord. Lord, ito yung dasal ko. Tapos ayaw sagutin ni Lord. You've come in the right place. Pakisabi sa katabi, buti nandito ka. Mas lalo na kung may dasal ka na hindi sinasagot ng Diyos. There are four prescriptions for hopelessness. Are you ready? After yung itong apat, we'll pray, then we'll worship the Lord. Kaya hindi ko man masagot ang tanong ninyo, but I hope that you feel God's embrace tonight. Amen? Four prescriptions for hopelessness. Number one is this. Oh, by the way, the one big message for tonight is this, that God is found in the ordinary. Pakisabi nga to, God is found in the ordinary. Number one, feel your feelings. Feel your feelings. Pakisabi sa katabi, feel your feelings. May kilala kayong dinedina yung nafe-feel niya. Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano Okay lang nasaktan ako. Hindi, okay lang ako. Wala na ako. Ako. Mm, okay. De, feel your feelings. Ito ah, naging totoo sa Elijah with the Lord. Elijah walked the whole day into the wilderness. He stopped and sat down in the shade of a tree. Grabe na. Ang emo talaga niya. Umupo siya sa tree. Diba? Shade of a tree. And wished what? He would die. Kasi ang dami niyang problema, di ba? May kilala kayong ganyan. Ito na, ang daming problema. Wala siyang ibang gustong gawin, Lord. Kunin mo na lang ako. Ayoko na to. Kaya ko na feel mo yun. Kung nandikinig ka online at gusto mo nang kunin ang buhay mo. Hey, baka si Elijah profit mo. Kasi si Elijah, sabi niya, ayoko na, Lord. But I wish he would die. Bakit? It's too much. He prayed, burn out na burn out na siya and take away my life. I might as well be dead. Imagine mo, superstar ka ng Diyos. Napakagaling mong propeta. Lord, fire, boom, bang, may fire agad. Tapos ikaw, parang napaka-hindi logical. Parang napaka-illogical ng, ng Elijah. Di ba kasi feeling ko lang naman, 
Pwede niya sabihin, Lord, yung fire kahapon, pwede bang kay, kay, ano na lang, kay Jezebel na lang? Lord, please, boom, doon. Pwede sigurong gawin yon. And he was honest. Actually, si Elijah talaga nagpauso at nauna sa TBH. Ano yung TBH? Alam na mga millennial to eh. Kung hindi mo alam ang TBH, matanda ka na talaga. Anyway, to be honest, sabi niya, Lord, TBH lang ha. Ang sakit na talaga. He did not deny that he was hurt. Wag mong i-deny kung nasaktan ka. Wag mong i-deny. It was illogical for Elijah to be sad. But listen to this. Emotions are never logical. Kung nasasaktan ka, masakit. When we get depressed, things we do are not logical. May kilala kayong bagong breakup? Huwag mo nang tignan. I mean, kung may kilala ka lang naman. Di ba, yung kaibigan mong bagong breakup, parang ang dali-dali naman ng solusyon sa problema niya eh. Parang kung ikaw on the outside, magbibigay ka ng advice, parang nakikita mo, wala na nga kayo eh. Habol ka pa ng habol sa kanya. Tingin ka pa ng tingin sa Facebook niya. Ano pa naman? So, so parang ang logical, wag mo na siyang tignan. Ang logic answer, mag-move on. Yun ang logical. Pero kung heartbroken ka, hindi ko logical. Huh? Hirap eh. At dali sabihin sa'yo. Lebasa, hindi mo alam. Pero sakit. May wanan na hindi kayo. <laughs> diba? Kasi nga ikaw yun, you're going through that problem. You're not logical. That's why, you know, Be careful, mas lalo na kung nawala ng trabaho or namatayan sa pamilya, depressed ka, and, 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 and you're sad. Please, if you have friends like that, understand na baka yung logical thing that you're thinking is not what they need that moment. But the most illogical thing that you can do to help your friend was to listen. Ang sarap magbigay ng opinion, di ba? Te, ano ba? Tatlong buwan na. Diyan ka pa rin. Hindi eh. Intayin mo siya. Listen to this, dear friends. If you're sad, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong if you're sad. Hindi po kasalanan ang maging malungkot. But ganun, brother, dyan nag-worship ako kay Lord. Di ba dapat di ako nalulungkot? Hindi eh. Si Elijah ang gusto nang mamatay. But he did not deny what he felt. Feel your feelings. Pag nasasaktan po kayo, ibig sabihin... Human being kayo. Pakitignan ng katabi. Human being ba? Kasi, bakit? Kasi alam mo na eh, pag nasaktan ka dyan, alam mo na na hindi mo na ulit dapat daanan yan. Amen? Ang mahirap yung iba sa nasaktan na, sige lang, okay lang, go. Sige pa, ano pa? Oh, okay lang, okay lang, go. Huwag ganun. Feel your feelings. Number two is this. Feed your frame. Anong frame? Ang katawan ninyo. Feed it. Anong ginawa ni Lord sa kanya? He laid down under the tree and fell asleep. And then suddenly, ito na, an angel touched him and said, Wake up and eat. Napaka-practical ng, ng angel na ito. Sana yan yung angel ko rin, di ba? Parang... <laughs> John, get up and eat. O, oh, di ba? Parang, yan ang angel ko eh. Yes! Wake up and eat. Tapos ito pa yung malupit. He looked around kasi nga he was walking in the desert. Wala naman sinabi, may dala siyang pagkain. He was just walking to the desert. Tapos doon siya sa ilalim ng tree, nakatulog siya. Ginishin siya ng angel. Wake up and eat. Then when he looked around, he saw a loaf of bread. 
Hindi lang yun. May pambara. May panulak din. Jar of water near his head. And ate and drank. Then anong susunod na ginawa niya? Lay down again. No, diba? Yan ang propeta ko. Sa si Elijah. Ang sarap. Kain, inom, tulog. Next day, kain, inom, tulog. Ang sarap. If you are depressed, listen to this. Eat. <laughs> eh, ba, kain na nga na kain, brother. Eh. Go. Because God knows, listen to this, depression is not just psychological. It's also biological. Minsan, stress ka kasi yung katawan mo stressed. Kailan ka ba huling nagpahinga? Bisik yung puso mo, kailan huling napahinga? May kilala kayo hindi na bakante since high school. Arang kang... Arang dami yung boyfriend, ah. Di ba? Yung katabi mo, nagpapahinga ba yan? That's why tip is this. Bless your body. Can everybody say, bless your body? Eto, totoo lang, ha? Kung nag, may trabaho ba ang katabi, nagtatrabaho ba sa office, kung kilala mo, pwede bang hawakan mo siya? Kung kilala mo lang, ha? Kung hindi, huwag ka assuming. Sige na, hawakan mo lang. Tignan mo siya sa mata at sabihin mo sa kanya to, mag-leave ka naman. Mag-leave ka naman. Yung iba, ayaw mag-leave. Bakit convertible to cash? Wag! <laughs> sayang yung pera, brother John. Hindi, sayang yung sane mo. Sayang yung pagiging matinungo. May leave ka, nilagay ng office yan para, para sa'yo. Hindi sayang yung pera eh. Wag! Mag-leave ka. Iplano mo yung leave mo. Sabi, magpakabait ka sa trabaho. Sabi mo sa boss mo, boss, ito ha, two years from now. Ganon ang pag-leave. Two years ang advance para payagang ka. Yung iba, hindi convertible to cash. Pero alam mo yung iba, ayaw mag-leave kasi ano eh. Matatamba ka ng trabaho. Wow! Matatamba ka ng trabaho. Alam niyo po, ito lang, hindi po titigil ang trabaho. Mas lalo yung katabi mo, di ba? Ang dami trabaho niyan. Hindi titigil ang trabaho. Pero, ikaw ang titirik. <laughs> Ayaw ko na. Pagod na, pagod na ako. Ikaw ang titirek. Pag hindi ka nag-leave, may schedule mo ng maayos. Papayagan ka naman yan eh. Last two months ago, alam ninyo, nag-ipon kami ng, ng family ko, kami mag-asawa, nag-ipon kami, tapos yung family ko, yung sa side ko, ipon kami, tara, Hong Kong tayo. Apat na araw lang. Tatlong araw-araw na tao. Apat na araw lang yata. Papunta, tapos paalit. Yung ganun lang. Yung, tapos in the middle, wala kami masyadong binili. Isa lang binili ko. Ano yung binili ko? Itong sapatos ko. Isa lang. Wala na. Hindi ako masyadong. Ang dami naman dyan eh. Pero isa lang. Yung malaki, ano bang malaking sapatos niyo? <laughs> What's your bigger shoes? <laughs> yung ganun. Isa lang. Ito lang. Tapos masaya na ako. Tapos ikot, pahinga, tulog. <laughs> Lahat. Pahinga. Hindi lang po ang pagpunta sa Hong Kong ang pahinga. Pwede rin ito kahit tayo. O pwede rin kahit saan. Pero magsama ka naman ha. Yung, <laughs> ikaw na mag-isa, di ba? Pasama mo naman nanay mo, pamilya mo. Di ba? Yung malinis na bakasyon para sa iyo. Yes? Rest. Pakisabi sa katabi, rest. Tapos isang linggo, Bigyan mo naman yung isa, isang linggo, dalawang oras lang. Sa, isa, sa isang linggo, dalawang oras lang. Ay, magfi-feast ako. Dalawang oras lang. Minsan, one and a half lang. Magfi-feast ako. 
alam niyo po, ito totoo lang ha, hindi po ako talaga na-offend pag nakakatulog kayo sa feast. <laughs> sa galing kong to, grabe. Nakakatulog ka sa toko, okay lang sa akin. Yung iba sa inyo, <laughs> yung iba sa inyo, wala. <laughs> Ganun talaga. Oh, grabe si atin, bibig niya talaga. <laughs> Okay lang. Bakit? Kasi the whole day, laban ka eh. Sa feast. Grabe. <laughs> okay lang sa akin. Kasi dito nakakapahinga ka. Nakakatawa ka. Nakakain ka. Amen? Okay lang. Pahinga ka lang. Pakisabi sa akin, mag-relax ka lang. <laughs> Gusto ko sana mag-rent na mas magandang upuan, yung may foam naman. Kaso talaga sabi ko, baka tuluyan na ako eh. <laughs> Tulog na. Hindi, okay na yung monoblock sa inyo para medyo gising ka naman. Rest. There's a gift when you rest. And that's the gift. of having the right perspective. Imagine mo, pag nagpahinga ka, pag nag-stop ka sa gulo ng buhay, stop ka, pahinga ka, bakasyon ka. Kung may pera ka, sige, magborak ka. Nice. Ganda na daw ng burakay ngayon. Mas mura mag-Hong Kong kaysa mag-burakay. <laughs> Seryoso po yun. <laughs> Pero ganun talaga, pahinga ka. But then, Pag magpapahinga po, ito lang, magpahinga ka talaga. Hindi yung nasa cellphone, gano'n doon siya. Ano doon update ni boss? Eh, kasalanan ng misis ko to. Chichismis ko yung misis ko. Ha? Ang misis ko, si wedding coordinator. So, naka, naka-LTE pa. Nasa Hong Kong na kami, naka-LTE pa. Kaya nung ginagawa, text nung text sa kanya, yung mga kliyente niya. So, habang naglalakad kami, totoo ba? Tinatawagan siya. Sabi ko, love, enjoy tayo. Sabi niya, walang ibang gagaw. Meron yan. Ikakasal pa rin yan. <laughs> Kung hindi tuloy, si Lord na yon. Sige na. <laughs> Rest. And number three is this. Find your friends. Yung iba sa inyo, pag ganun na story, ito sabay ganun sa kaibigan. Find your friends. <laughs> the reason why Elijah was burnt... No, next slide. Oh, yeah. The reason why Elijah was burnt out because he thought wala siyang friend. Parang siya lang mag-isa. But nobody was with him. Sabi dito, first Kings again. Tuloy tayo. There he went into the cave and spent the night. Suddenly the Lord spoke to him, Elijah, what are you doing here? Imagine mo, after the tree, punta siya sa cave, siguro gabi na, doon na siya natulog. Sabi niya, Elijah, what are you doing here? He answered, Lord God Almighty, I have always served you. You alone. But the people of Israel have broken their covenant with you. Torn down your altars and killed your prophets. I am the only one left. And they're trying to kill me. Pakisabi nga po, cave. Minsan, pag may problema, pansinin mo, gusto mong nagtatago sa cave. At yung cave mo, may pintuan na may lock. Lalock mo doon. Astun ka lang. Tapos makikinig ka ng kung ano-ano sa radyo. Parang di ko yata <laughs> Nasa buhay ko ay wala ka. Parang di ko maisip. Ang puso ay nag-isa. Sinong aking tatong? Eh, sinong aking hahanap? Anyway, so yung gano'n yung tagbakin. Anyway, And dahil mong drama, nakikinig ka. Mas parang walang nakakaintindi sa akin. Nag-break kayo. Walang nagmamahal sa akin. Grabe. 
Siyang tao lang yun. Ang dahil mong kaibigan, may pamilya ka, may tatay ka, may nanay ka, natawagan mo na ba? May mga kaibigan, may feast ka. Amen? Ang problema, hindi mo nakikita. Ang tinahanap mo, yung wala dyan. Yung nandyan, hindi mo nakikita. Yun yung problema. Kaya po na to, natutuwa ako. Pag nakikita ko, iba kasi sa inyo friends ko sa IG, nakikita ko sa mga stories ninyo, ay lumalabas kayo ng mga kaibigan ninyo. Ay, tuntua ako dyan. Hindi lang trabaho, face pinupuntahan mo. May iba din. Sige lang. Go out with your friends. Alam ninyo, minsan, kasi ibang friends natin, walang ibang sinabi ko, hindi, may problema ka. Hige, inom ka lang. Go, inom. Hige na, isa pa, inom. Pero tignan mo, kausapin mo ng seryoso. Seryoso yan. Di ba? Nag-agree anak ko sa akin. Sabi, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Tinadala ko po si Mateo at Javi. Tuwing kaya ko pa. Naku, kasi kung magbabaka, kung start na ng school ng August, hindi ko na sila madadala masyado. Kaya, amen, amen. <laughs> Excited na ako sa panahon na pag nag-1, 2 years old na yan, naku po, siguro magtatakbo na yan dito. At buntis ulit yung misis ko, Amen. Di ba? <laughs> ano talaga? Wala na ako na ibang naiisip, kundi yun. Mga six ang minimum na amin. <laughs> Lord, nang taon na ako. <laughs> But find your friends. Kaya po gusto namin dikit-dikit kayo sana dito sa feast. Para pag tumawa ka, may kasabay kang tumawa. <laughs> oh, sabay kayo tumawa. Hindi yung mag-isa ka, <laughs> ayan kasama dito. Tinatabi-tabi po talaga namin kayo. Para kung umiiyak yung katabi mo, pwede mo in-touch siya. Kung nag-amen siya, grabe, amen. Sige, Lord. And last but not the least, follow your faith. Follow your faith. Can, can you encourage the person beside you? Pakisabi, follow your faith. Yes, feel your feelings. Ha? But your feelings, don't follow your feelings. Kasi yung feelings, ayoko nang mabuhay. Sige lang, go. Follow, hindi. Feel it, then align it with your faith. Lord, ano ba itong nararamdaman ko? Feed your frame. Pero hindi pwede puro kain. Hindi rin pwede puro tulog. Hindi rin pwede puro pahinga. Align it with your faith. Na pagkatapos mo magpahinga, laban ka ulit. Huwag ka na umasa sa blessing ng kahapon. Si Elijah, pagising niya, may pagkain siya. Pero the next day, hindi na dapat ganun. Kasi iba, Lord, ano ba? Pinipilit mo si Lord na sagutin yung dasal. Lord, sige na, ito na, ang bait ko, di ba? Hindi. Si Lord, hindi. Align it with your faith. Move forward. Find your friends. But how can you find the right friends if you align your friends with your faith? Kasi yung sasabihin ng friend mo, ibang friend mo, hindi talaga matino. Sige, drugs mo lang yan. Sige na, kitit lang tayo. Teka lang, yan ba yung faith ko? Hindi. Ay, humanap ka ng iba. Bakit takip mo butas dyan? Sige lang. Ay, alayin ba sa faith ko yun? Sasaktan ko iba para masaktan lang itong isa? Hindi po pwede. Align it with your faith. Feelings may say, give up. But faith will say, go up. Amen? Feelings may say, you're a nobody. But faith will say, always and every day when you wake up, you are a child of God. Yes, you are. You are somebody in my eyes. But sometimes you feel like, Lord, talaga ba may solution? Yes! You are somebody in my eyes. You are my child. Don't give up. 
Tayo ka ulit. Laban ka ulit. Huwag kang magmukbok dyan. Lumaban ka. Why? You are somebody. And your feelings may say your problems are big. Ang laki ng problema mo. But every time you pray to God, your faith will always tell you that your God is bigger. Your God is bigger. He's always bigger. Minsan, si Lord, ang laki ng utang ko eh. Hindi kaya payaran yan. Si Lord yan eh. Kaya minsan po, kung magkakaproblema dito sa feast, kunyari, hindi masyadong abot yung finances. Lord, ha, trabaho mo to, hindi akin to. It's you. May problema yung isa, may sakit, Lord. Ha, hindi ko po kaya to. Binibigay po namin ito sa inyo. Kahit gaano kalaki ang problema po ninyo, o natin, mas malaki pa rin ang Diyos. There is always hope. There is always hope. First Kings, it says, go out and stand before me on the top of the mountain. Ano sabi ni Lord? Magbagyo ka. <laughs> Magtagay sa top of the mountain. Kasi pag nasa taas po kayo ng mountain, lumiliit lahat. Yung, maliit mong pro- yung malaking problema pag nasa lapag ka, ay lumiliit. Kaya si Lord, si Jesus, New Testament, gustong gusto umaakyat sa mountain. Kaya sabi niya, Lord, Then the Lord said to him, Then there was the Lord passed by and sent a furious wind that split the hills and shattered the rocks. But the Lord was not found in the wind. The wind stopped blowing and then there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. So my wind na, my earthquake na, ito na. And then the earthquake, after the earthquake, there was fire. Earth, wind, and fire. Grabe si Lord talaga, no? But the Lord was not in the fire. Nasaan si Lord? And the fire was there. And after the fire there, was a soul. Selling Elijah. Kaya mo yan. The Lord can speak to us all in the ordinary things. Alam niyo sinabi ni Lord, sabi niya, tama na yan. Di ba, resorts for Manila, parang gano'n. Nabira, nabira, nabira. Sabi niya, go to your next mission. May next mission ako sa'yo. At ano yung mission ni Elijah after his depression? Was to look for a new prophet that would help him. And his name was Elisha. Elijah and Elisha. Minsan po ang Diyos, kahit anong nararamdaman mo, He would ask you to your next mission. Tama na yan, ha? Kasi may papagawa ako sa'yo. Kung hindi nyo kilala si Elisha, siya po yung sumama kay Elijah. Sabi niya, Elijah, I want double of what you have. A double portion of your anointing. At because of Elisha, ang daming nagawa para kay Lord. May kailangan kang gawin na hindi mo nagagawa because of your sadness. So I pray for you. That's why the third root of burnout is this. Being happy only with the extraordinary. Kung meron lang burning bush, kung meron lang charts of fire, no, the Lord can speak to you to avoid. So allow Him to speak to you today. God is found in the ordinary. Amen. Can we all stand, please?
every time I'm burned out or stressed, I look for the ordinary things. This morning, I woke up. Last night, I was sleeping na talagang sobrang sakit ng ulo ko. Sobrang, awa ko, puyat yata ko for past weeks. Sobrang sakit ang ulo ko. Tapos tulog ako, Lord. Dami ko iniisip. <laughs> well, tulog ko ka- kagabi, pagkising ko. Ano yung asawa ko? Pagtingin ko, laki ng ah, gano'n. Ah, ganda talaga niya. Ordinary. Tapos pagsilip kong gano'n, si Javi nandun. Ah, gano'n din. Iko, ay, magka 10 months old na yan. Two months na lang. One year. Ngayon mo na ako. Mamaya-maya, baka may girlfriend na to. Talagang gano'n. Tapos pagtingin ko, si Mateo nandito. Tulog din. Papasok na. Lord, salamat ha. Kasi may pinambahid ako sa tuition noon. Hindi ko alam sa ako kinuha. Tapos tatayo ako. Pagtayo ko. Ay, may breakfast na kahanda. May blessing. Pagpasok ko ng banyo, may sabon ako, Lord. Naka-shopping si Angela ng sabon. <laughs> Kalimutan ko sabihin, sa kaliko, kung may hot water pa, ordinary things. Tapos nag-feast builders meeting kami kanina, nakita ko si Bo. Brother, Brother Bo retired already. He stepped down as overall leader. So kanina, first time na iba, nagsis- iba nagli-lead ng meeting. Ay, blessing sa ako. Ang higpit naman itong bagong ito. Gano'n. Tanong sa lahat. Si Bo kasi walang tanong eh. So gano'n ay blessing. Nakita ko yung mga barkada ko, mga feast builder, yung mga hindi nakikinig pag builders meeting. Yan. Saya. Tapos uwi ako. Lord, sana okay yung weather tonight. Blessing din po kung umulan. Blessing kung hindi. Thank you, Lord. Sakita ko. Aba, may mga nandyan na. May maaga po parati dito. Five ma 4.30 pa lang, may ma-attend na dito. Sabi ko, ate, wala ka bang trabaho? <laughs> Kaya, kasi, eh, wala na siya, tapos na yung trabaho eh. Wala na lang pupuntahan, so dito na ako. Ako po siya doon, 4.30. Sabi ko, pwede ka mag-builder, gusto mo ba? <laughs> tapos full house tayo tonight. Blessing. Lahat na nangyayari is a blessing. Amen. Yang katabi mo, ordinaryo lang yan, di ba? Pero blessing yan. Amen. God is found in your ordinary. Before we worship, can you can you look at the person beside? Just look at the person beside. We see si namamili ka na, baka hindi mo pa siya tinitingnan kanina. Then can you share just one ordinary blessing that happened today? Come on, just one to that person beside you. Ready? Set, go. Come on, share, share. Salang. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand, everybody? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for these ordinary blessings, and I declare that I will always be safe in your arms. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to sing the song in Jesus' name.
Lord really loves you so much. And He will help you move forward. And He will tell you every day that you're safe in my arms. Amen? And you have friends. Can you look at around you? Do you have friends, right? Sana kaibigan mo yung mga yan. At uh, the Lord loves you. Can you encourage five people around you? Give them a high five or a hug. Can you tell them the Lord is with you? The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Can you give the Lord a big hand, everybody? Thank you so much, guys. Amazing, amazing night of worship. All right. Please be seated. As we prepare for our offerings, again, I want to welcome all those who've come for the first time. Pwede ba natin silang palakpakan wherever they are? Maraming salamat po for being here. I hope you come back next week. I hope you make this your home. So if you have five minutes after the feast, we'll just give you a welcome gift. John Venn is here. And Mateo, there's Mateo. They're going to give you a welcome gift. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ayan, the ushers is just going around. Just if you want to have a love offering envelope, maraming maraming salamat po. All right, next announcement. Ito na, may nakita po kayong tarpaulin sa labas. Sabi doon, real relationship, o di ba? Listen up. There's a free gift for everybody in this announcement. Take out your phone. Aba, meron pa. Take out your phone and take a photo of this slide right now. So may slide ba? Right now, ipapakita. Meron ba? Ah, ito, of this slide right now. So, tatabi ako pala. Alright, of this slide right now. Get real relationship in the most important aspects of your life. Work, family, love life. Join the real relationships experience and learn life coaching tools from Coach Edwin Soriano, author of You Can Be Happy Again, happening on July 27 in Makati. To get a copy of Coach Edwin's Life Coaching ebook for free, go now to the link on the screen. So, meron pong link on, meron siya, ano yan, itong link na ito, itong BLY Chat Real XP. Tapos meron din po tayong QR code dyan sa labas. Meron pong inquiry dyan po sa labas. Again, we would love you to, to join this as well. Right? If you have many, if you have other questions regarding this event, meron po tayong booth sa labas. Next is this. The Outreach in Payatas. Ngayon, uh, we, the Outreach in Payatas, they have an announcement <laughs> kasi mukhang hindi po yata nakuha yung correct or yung yung number ng taong nag-sign up for na pwedeng tulungan sa payatas. Marami yata hindi pwede sa kanila. So, they're postponing the event lang muna on August 3. So, kung may mga gimmick kayo on August 3, <laughs> tuloy na po kayo ulit. So, there. there's a, This event is cancelled. Uh, but I'll announce it over and over again. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you join the next outreach as well. Next is this. Men's Quarterly. So, again, if uh, I want to invite the brothers who are here or free on August 9, 8 p.m. to 10. Let's meet at the Sunshine Place in Jupiter. We'll have a great time together. Uh, snacks will be served. Dama ba? <laughs> snacks. Hindi na naman gusto ko dyan eh. May snack tayo. All right. Next is this, The Encounter. If you want to have an experience of The Encounter, join us on August 10. Uh, there's a sign of booth outside as well. All right, today we are 420. Thank you, Lord, for your people who came tonight. Those who are giving online or those who want to give through a check, meron po kaming uh, BDO account. Ito po ang ating BDO account. Please do take a picture of that. If you are listening to, a, to an online podcast, right, or an online Facebook Live right now. I hope you have a screenshot of this. A screenshot lang po para you can officially and just, you know, transfer your account there. Or your, or your account, sorry, your offering. Your whole account there. <laughs> you can give online. So again, Light of Jesus Family, Mega Manila, Makati, Tagig District, Inc. 0036-280-08. So, pag may pumasok na pera ngayong gabi, sasabihin ko sa finance, ah, sa Salcedo, galing yan. <laughs> so, there. Or, may mga nasusulat din po sa check. Yan. Please do write the account name. Yan po, ang tama account name. 
Maraming maraming salamat po for your, for giving your best every week. Hope to see you next week. Pakisabi sa kadabes. See you next week. Put your offerings in your heart, Father in heaven. We thank you for the gift of this offering. Bless the source of my giving. And Father, I pray that you bless this feast even more. That you bless many more people. That you bless us, God. Expand our territories. Expand our giving. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Give to the Lord. And sing the song with us.